Fala aí, gurizada. Bem-vindos ao canal Viver Games. Eu sou o BB e estamos aí no jogo Chernobylite. E já vou pedindo que vocês estão gostando do vídeo, estão gostando do canal. Se inscrevam no canal aí, deixem um like. Acionem o sininho de notificações que isso ajuda muito o canal a crescer e se desenvolver para trazer mais e mais conteúdos aí, beleza? Vamos aqui no nosso quarto, então. E vamos dar uma olhada nesse quadro aqui. Vamos dar uma inspecionada nele que a gente já tem os fatos completados e as pistas quase lá. Vamos dar uma olhada para ver o que vai acontecer. Nunca fiz isso daqui. Realidade virtual. Eita. Então vamos ver, né? Tanya and wait, is that Boris? Beautiful, isn't it? Igor gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> He's such a cute dork. It's from Leningrad. He's so sweet. A tiny dancer? That's all he sees you as, huh? He doesn't really understand you like I do. If you'd only give us a chance, Tanya. Vai dar rolo. Boris, please don't make me go through this again. Don't destroy our friendship. You don't need to worry about that. I will always be your best friend, but I can't forget that evening when we were at the Silver Lake in Gatchina. And you said we had our moment, but it's in the past now. Please, just don't. Tá bem estranho, hein, pessoal. A situação tá bem complicada. If that's what you really want, but you're making a mistake, Tanya. Igor is too buried in his books to see the real you. He only sees the perfect little Slavic woman. Fragile, supportive, and obedient. You're not yourself around him, Tanya. Afraid of overshadowing his accomplishments. Scared of driving him away. Ah, gurizada, parece que nós temos uma relação de três aí. Um conflito na relação. With me, you would never have to pretend. Never have to be someone you're not. I've never been more myself than when I'm with Igor. Don't try to get in my head, Boris. I've made my choice. You need to accept that. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I regret that. Que loucura. Let's just... Let's just finish our tea. I need to be back home by five. What? I remember the music box. It was from Leningrad. But Boris? Was he making a pass at Tanya? I trusted that son of a bitch. Chegamos ao fim. Pripri Art, 13 de abril de 1936. Hum, tá com cara de ser. É pelas roupas, é, com certeza. Eu acho que estamos todos Foi uma boa ideia com a música box, Conrad Major. Boris estava falando com o KGB? Eu deveria ter visto. Ele estava sempre tão. Overly ambitious. Yes, I'm positive. She's about to blow the lid off the whole thing. And with her affiliations, there's no telling how long it'll be before the Western press gets wind of the Duca project. So I recommend that you move fast, Comrade Major. We need to make sure that our work continues without distraction. She's a dangerous dissident and needs to be put away. As for Kimenyuk, we need him so our work can continue. He's not involved in Amalieva's machinations. He's quite naive. He's what Conrad Lennon would call a useful idiot. Except he also happens to be a brilliant scientist, of course. Thank you, Boris. It's good to know that you always had my back, and that you were involved in the plot to kidnap Tatiana. Yeah, there's all here.
Tanya? What? What do you want? Tatiana Amnieva, please come with us quietly. It's better if you don't make a scene, for your own sake. What's all this about? Who, who are you? The better question is, who are you, Tatiana Femina Amnieva? Your father would be ashamed of you. Or does he know that you're plotting to betray your own motherland? Perhaps he's in on it too. Eita! Agora virou uma conspiração, uma traição. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll see about that. We're gonna have a nice long chat, Amalieva. As it is, we've got a mutual friend, Amnieva. Boris told us all about you. Hum. A situação só tá ficando pior. What? No, he would never. The party has done so much for you, and this is how you repay us. You've got your head filled with this Western nonsense. Yes, yes. We've seen your contraband. This garbage. It makes me sick. You're not happy being a proper Soviet woman, eh? You've grown tired of pretending? Well, the game is over. Time to show your true face. You're a reactionist and a provocateur, ready to sell your country's secrets to the CIA. Caramba, é muita memória, hein? I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, let me go. What would your fiancé Igor have to say about this, hmm? He's such a good comrade. When he hears of this, he will despise you. If you continue to resist, we'll pay a visit to your family in Murmansk. Don't make us do that. The drive always puts me in a foul mood. Please, no, don't. I'll come willingly. Good girl. Nossa, que lugar horripilante. What are you doing? Get away from me! Don't touch me! Leave me alone! God, please, I can't take it anymore. Lord, have mercy. Kill me, please. Kill me. Nossa, quando alguém pede para morrer, a coisa tá feia. Boris was jealous of me and Tanya, and when she turned him down, he got back at her by informing on her to the KGB. That goddamn rat. I trusted him. Good. God. I knew she hated this system, but exposing state secrets to the Western press? Can that even be true? I could be. I don't know what to believe anymore. Isso aí, gurizada. Voltamos pro abrigo. Tem alguma coisa nova aqui? Não, não tem. Bom, como vocês viram junto comigo aí, o cara tinha inveja do relacionamento dos dois e ele acabou entregando ela. É, isso não se faz. É, beleza. Baita de um traíra. Pra vocês verem o que acontece... Quando você tem um triângulo amoroso. A coisa fica feia. Mas então é isso, gurizada. Esse foi o episódio de hoje. Tivemos umas grandes revelações aí. E o vídeo vai ficando por aqui. Valeu e até a próxima.